Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Marianne Williamson. I'd like to say hello and welcome to I Am The Change. I'm Michelle Kelly and I started this in 2019 as my New Year's resolution stating out loud that I was breaking up with fear, I was breaking up with shame, and I was breaking up with guilt, followed by a weekly video and continuing on, I'm over four and a half years, closer to five. Um, I've had other New Year's resolutions since then. My latest one this year was not to weigh myself every single day on the scale, which I was doing all day, every day for years and years and years. And I started off the New Year weighing myself every other day. And eventually I was able to put the scale away. I still wonder, but I don't obsess. Um, yesterday I had 16 months of abstinence from sugar, flour, wheat, and caffeine. So I'm completely out of my food addiction. I'm recovering from alcohol and drugs. I'm an ex-smoker. I am codependent no more. And um, I worked on workaholism too. So you guys, I've addressed every addiction that I know of so far, and hopefully I don't have any more of them. Um, I'm not wanting to harm and hurt myself anymore. And it's funny, not funny. I was talking to my girlfriend one time about people who cut themselves and um, with razor blades and Back in the day, we didn't have cutters, but what I did was obsessively cut my hair, which I still do. And she said to me, Michelle, we're cutters. And she's right. I got my hair cut last Saturday and I came home and cut it obsessively for like four more hours. I am now completely gray. By the way, it's all grown out. I had to switch my wall because my hair was blending into my other wall. It's the same color of the of my fake wallpaper. So I needed more contrast behind me, but all my gray is officially showing. All my hair color is completely off. My hair is really short and I did put a big white streak in it. But today I didn't wash my hair and I didn't even shower because I couldn't. You guys, it's been 66 days since I've been in this awful, horrible flare up, which they have not found out what it is yet. Um, I'm still waiting on getting approved from my insurance company for these two MRIs. However, I was able to make the appointments anyway, saying I was self paying. And after doing my video, like a lot of times I say things and don't even realize it. And my answers come out of my mouth and I called back and told them to put me on the cancellation list, whether I'm approved or not. I am going and getting this done ASAP because I cannot stand up for longer than 15 minutes without being in excruciating pain. And this is debilitating. And I've been like this for 66 days and I think a lot of times because of my personality and because of how I present myself, a lot of people think it's not that bad, but it is. I, I'm still, like we're still figuring out how to manage my pain and it is so much better than it was. But yesterday I did a couple of errands and today I can't do anything. 
So it's like when I push myself to do things, the next day I pay for it. So I've been in bed all day up until now just to do this video and I didn't even want to do it. But I said I would and I'm all about keeping up with my word and being consistent. So this is very important to me, even showing you when I'm not at my best. So it's funny, funny, not funny, but perception. A lot of us, it depends what your perception is and where you are in your life, whether you believe me, whether you hate me, whether you like me. What I found out about myself is I am open to love and my heart is open to love and I wear my heart on my sleeve. And anybody who is rejecting love, they will reject me and not like me and not want to be near me and not want to accept what I have to offer. And I know every person that does that, not only are they rejecting love, they're rejecting themselves and it has nothing to do with me. So um, anybody who is all about love is is attracted and drawn to me. And I know this for a fact, 100%. I can see every single person through God's eyes. And just because I can see people through God's eyes, I can see where you are in your life. And it is okay wherever you are. Sometimes there's certain times I'm not okay with that. I can see where you are. I can see you through God's eyes, but I'm not there anymore. And because I'm not there anymore, I don't want to be around that energy. It depletes me. And I already am not feeling my best. So I need to be around people who energize me and feed my soul and, and make me feel good. And what I've learned about that is my one great girlfriend said, if you are walking on eggshells, you are not with your soul tribe. So if I'm around people where I feel like I can't say my truth or voice my truth, that I'm better if I just keep it to myself or not say it at all, they're not my people. They're not going to be the people that are able to help me or support me and the more I learn this the more I can say thank you but no thank you and before it used to start off with this screw you you're doing this to me on purpose and I realized most people aren't doing things to me on purpose they are guarding and protecting themselves and when you don't feel safe you guard and protect yourself. And because I feel safe, I no longer have to guard and protect myself because I can keep myself safe no matter where I go. I don't have to trust everybody else because I trust myself. And I can get myself out of any situation that isn't good for me. So as a result of getting myself out of situations that aren't good for me, it means I'm gonna lose friends and I'm gonna lose people that as I grow and they're not growing with me, they're not meant to come forward with me and I'm learning to be okay with that. So you guys, I, I have to go because I'm in so much pain, but I wanna say thank you to everybody who's been reaching out to me and praying for me and contacting me and wishing me well. Um, I wish I was better by now and I'm just not and I'm working on my healing. It's just not happening quick enough. So I'd like to s tell everyone, please stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll see you all next week.